Hi everybody, welcome to Cake Tasta Cakes. It's Jen, and as you can see, I've made all these famous YouTubers Minecraft skins, but today is going to be all about the Furious Destroyer. Now, just like I've mentioned before, in the description below, you're going to find a list of my commonly used tools and supplies, so check out down below if you need anything. Okay. Now, if you are familiar with Pat and Jen, which if you're watching this video, you probably are, you're going to know all about Super Girly Gamer and Furious Destroyer. This is going to be my take on Furious Destroyer. I started out with gray gum paste. It's maybe half an inch, probably not even thick. I'm using my little wooden sticks there to measure it, so it's just evenly uh, rolled out. I made a rectangle for the legs. I'm gonna slide this piece of gray squared off gum paste down on top of them to make the body. I'm using my paddles, just making sure everything is nice and sharp. And using my knife, I'm just gonna make an impression on the front and the back to give the, the, um, the idea of him having legs. And these skinny little pieces, the same thickness that we're still using, are gonna be his arms. When you're adding his arms on, you want them to end a little bit below the waist. You don't want it to go too far but you definitely don't want it to be shorter than the waist because it looks weird. <laughs> now, if you're doing Steve or somebody that has clothing on with like a hand sticking out that shows, then you would do it shorter because you're going to add something to give it a little more length. But with our Furious Destroyer here, he's just all one big piece of gray. Okay, this is going to be his head. I rolled the gum paste out a little thicker than before. My pieces of wood that I use are actually rectangles, so I stood them on their taller sides. So it's a little bit thicker. Make the square, stick it on as you see. This dark blue is going to be his cloak. He has a cape that he wears that, you know, you can't really see it from the front, but it is on his back. So I cut out my rectangle just to get the idea of the size and the shape, or the size and the length, I should say, not the shape. And we're just going to start chipping away at it from there. You know, once you get it on, then you can use your X-Acto knife, carefully cut away some edges. As you can see at the bottom, I took out a couple little corners. What I'm working on right here is kind of stepped. Um, you know, different levels are being taken out like a pair, like a set of stairs. So it's stepped. <laughs> that's my word. And uh, that's going to be up by the neck. You see how I did that right there? See that? Isn't that amazing? Using my knife again, make sure your edges are nice and sharp. I've added some dark gray. It's kind of hard to see, but I did it around the edges of the cloak a little bit. That's some of the same dark blue of his original cloak in the middle of his legs. I have no idea why, but it was there, so I stuck it on. Now, if you guys Google pictures of Furious Destroyer, he has a ton of shading and a ton of details to him. Just do the main ones that really stand out, unless you're like seriously gung-ho about it, in which case, good on you. You're better than me. Okay, but I just went with the main ones that really stood out. So as you can see, I did the cloak. I outlined it a little black. Uh, you can see in the corner there, a little black, a little beige. I'm adding more pieces of black to it. Uh, this is going to be on the back of his arm, I believe it is. I'm just cutting out kind of a, a shape. And then I'm going to put it on either side of his arm. You see, I made two of them and they match each other. It's kind of a mirror image. It's just so that it would be balanced and symmetrical. Uh, he's not perfectly symmetrical, but there is a lot that is. So again, just be careful with the details that you choose to put on there. Make sure you follow it as true as you can. Like this right here, the middle of his cloak has a big plus mark on it. So I stuck it on there. It's got a little bit of the dark gray outlining the plus mark. So I put it on there. If you Google images of it, it's not going to be perfect if you compare mine to the actual picture. But the impression is there enough, the feel is there enough that it's going to work without making you insane. Again, here are some more of the black pieces I'm putting on. I put a stripe across his legs above that blue rectangle. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Design on his legs. There's a little bit of black above him. This piece is going to kind of go across his waist. You see, it was just a step on each, on each side and a little wedge taken out of the middle, kind of across like where his belt would be. And this piece of black is going to be on, his, on the front of his arms, kind of matching the idea we did on the back a minute ago. And... Again, if you look at pictures of him, you're going to see that this black that goes across his arms and across his waist is pretty prominent. If you have a hard time picking out the main details you want to include, um, Google fan art. That's what I do a lot of times with some things, some things that are really heavily detailed. 
you're going to find that kids and adults and whoever who make fan art of objects, you're going to find certain details repeat over and over. And those are the ones that catches everyone's eyes. And those are the ones you need to include. So like here, you've got his bright teal eyes with that black stripe down the center of his face and the little black squares above. Those are important. They show up everywhere. His stripes that I'm putting on his chest, you can see there's some gray ones at the top, a little bit of that dark blue. I guess that's the idea of where his cloak, you know, connects to the front of him. And I put those stripes coming down it. it it's kind of the impression is there and you get the feel of it. I put some on his sides, <laughs> some on his knees. And to fill in the rest, I'm using my black edible food coloring marker and just putting little dashes and dots all over him to give him that pixelated feel that all of Minecraft characters and objects have. And so, yeah, so finish it off. A little bit of dark gray rectangles across the top, across his brow. And you got a Furious Destroyer. It's not too shabby. It looks pretty good, I think. So please check out my other videos. I got a lot of Minecraft. If you're going to make a Jen Super Girly Gamer, she's out there too. You can check her out too. Please like and subscribe. That really helps me out. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching Cake Tastic Cakes.